Good morning, folks. We're starting with the stereo spacecraft because Houston has a problem. Solar scientists used the stereo to get a 360 degree view of the sun using a number of different cameras that mirror the view scope we see on SDO and SOHO, plus more. Stereo spacecraft allow us to know what's happening on the back side of the star and gives us some good views of CMEs as well. They're able to do this because of their position. It's vital to note that these craft are not stationary, but in constant motion. One spacecraft lifted off and went slightly closer to the sun, the other launched slightly further away from the sun, and the solar system carried their orbits slightly faster and slower than Earth, respectively, causing them to move slowly ahead and behind Earth's path in the orbital circle. But here's the problem. They are now almost directly behind the sun, and to send images back to Earth, they'll need to point their antennas almost directly at the sun. This is potentially damaging to those antennas, unlike the instruments that are supposed to stare at it. We could lose the spacecraft signals for up to a year, according to Dr. Tony Phillips at spaceweather.com. Talk about your long-term planning. Double the time we've been in this century, and that's when Athena will be a go. It is an interesting read if you click the link below. And folks, if you don't know about Agenda 21, I guardedly will advise you there is a lot of crazy nonsense out there about it, but that makes it no less real, nor a legitimate point of discourse for discerning minds. This is precisely what we are talking about. And guess what? They're claiming land grabs are a good thing, especially in the poorest countries who can't get their ish together to fend for themselves. If you believe that, I've got a weather modifier in Gakona to sell you. Link below. And on our website, you can find a no-nonsense and desensationalized series called Agenda 21 Counter-Strike. South of Australia, the story is the same. The southern hemisphere lows twirling clockwise, bringing the harsher weather. Love to get some winter shares from the southwest Pacific. In the north, those lows spin the other way, counterclockwise. This one dipping in for a visit to Europe near the northwest coastlines and will take over the worst watches here from the Mediterranean. We've got a couple lows to monitor across the pond, the first affecting Nova Scotia and Newfoundland. The low in the northeast Pacific will bring rain up and down the west coast there. But the major story once more is the central low driving the heat and moisture from the Gulf due north. Big weather tonight and again it will extend up into Canada. Please be alert in this part of the world. Last little bit on weather, if we get any flaring or other Uyen factors, the top watch zone is this hot surface water south of Mexico. Solar wind, calm and calming. The sensitive flux even shows smooth, calm curves. But we did witness a brief high energy proton surge at Earth's polar region. This occurred on the heels of a low power but long duration solar flare. Often the time is nearly as important as the magnitude. The eruption itself occurred just behind the northeastern limb as seen in the evening news and as the umbral field surged plasma in the wake we took the readings and the radiation surge. We're not likely to see more flaring unless the sunspots get their act together or we get some new ones cresting. Meanwhile, I've got to disagree with what we showed from Enlil Spiral last night. I know this suggests that the filament eruption could give us a glancing blow, but after reviewing the Lasco images, just don't see it being Earth directed. And especially with our newfound northern coronal holes being active, those streams should either overtake or drown out that tiny filament. We do have coronal holes north and south, along with another incoming plasma filament or two. Check observatoryproject.com in a bit for more on Eastern PA. Shots of our star to close. Eyes open. No fear. It's 6.30 a.m. Eastern Time and that's the news. Be safe, everyone.